As you know, we've been celebrating Black History Month, and now we're exploring The Great Adventure, a series about bringing diversity and inclusion to outdoor activities. This morning, we have the story of Tara Roberts, the first black woman explorer and storyteller to cover National Geographic magazine. And she took me out to explore our history underwater. We're going into the depths. So right now, we are going to enter this area here. With Nat Geo explorer and storyteller Tara Roberts. As she sets off on the journey of a lifetime, scuba diving to deepen our understanding of American history. You put so much on hold and you followed these extraordinary group of divers. How did you find out about diving with a purpose. I happened to go to the National Museum of African American History and Culture right there in DC. It was a picture of a group of primarily black women in wetsuits on a boat. And I discovered that they were a part of this group called Diving with a Purpose, and that their mission was to search for and help document slave shipwrecks around the world. It spurred some stuff inside of me. <laughs> The group of black divers searching for artifacts at the bottom of the ocean to uncover the untold history of the transatlantic slave trade. 1.8 million lives lost, about 1,000 ships wrecked, most recently the Clotilda. This is not just black people's history. This is global history. There were four continents involved in the global slave trade. It went on for 400 years. The transportation of 12.5 million Africans changed coastlines, it changed landscapes, it created wealth, it diminished wealth. So Tara dived right in, quitting her job and receiving her scuba certification to help bring the story of diving with a purpose to life. And they're from all walks of life. All walks of life. They're not necessarily scientists or Historians, they're yoga teachers, policemen, civil engineers, students, and they are committed to this work. For Tara and DWP, it's all about preserving our heritage and educating the next generation. We went out on the water for a scuba training session led by Diving with a Purpose instructor, Kramer Wimberly. What is it like for you personally? It's about being able to tell the stories of those nameless Africans who were on that ship and recognizing we need to turn this over to young people who are going to end up being the ones who can continue to work once we're done. That includes Tara's 13-year-old nieces, Wu and Shai, now following in their aunt's footsteps. Now we can glance down when we want to see how much air we have. Training for weeks to receive their own certification. Me and Shara are out here training and practicing for our dive. It's on tar. It's fun. It's always going to be fun. I like how she like goes scuba diving and like she saw a lot of things. Hopefully I don't see a shark. The duo putting in practice to take this giant leap of faith. <laughs> their first time diving into open water. It's really cool. Uh, they just said that there's a shark. That's why I'm here. They in fact saw a shark, plenty of fish, and their proud Auntie Tara on the other side. All right. And this next generation that's coming along, your nieces. So what was it about your story and what you do that inspired them to want to get in the water? I think it's sort of like me seeing the picture of the divers in the museum. We're not often seen represented in places, and if you're not seen, then people don't think that that's for them. And now you're representing because you are the first black woman explorer slash storyteller on the cover of Nat Geo magazine. That's so crazy. I grew up reading Nat Geo, and I never saw like explorers that look like me. So it's mind blowing to see this picture. <laughs> There's something that is surprisingly healing about this work. There's agency. This idea that a group of people, ordinary people, have raised their hands and said, you know what, that history is important and I'm gonna do what I can to help raise it from the depths. There's something really empowering about that. There really is. I have to thank our friends at Nat Geo for, for their help with this. 
It was fascinating. Seemed like it. It really was to be out in the water with the, with the whole team. You weren't tempted to go in after that shark? Uh, no, when I saw the shark, I was like, <laughs> well, that's I know why I'm I was here. supposed to be there. That's why the niece was like, but it's a nurse shark. I love how they say that. It was a sleeping, okay, right, a sleeping shark. <laughs> but I didn't realize there were 36,000 voyages, 36,000 mm. voyages, and approximately 1,000 ships were lost. And so you, you have this group of people who are putting their lives on hold. They're leaving their jobs, and some of them still keep them, but they're like from all walks of life. And they're finding such m incredible artifacts and just being able to document it to share with everybody. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was seeing the young ones, seeing her two nieces mm -hmm. and how excited they were and how they were, were learning so much and, and wanting, wanting to learn. And uh, they were not thrilled about seeing the shark as well, <laughs> but they got through it. But we're going to have so much more tonight on Nightline. I hope that you'll tune in for that because we really talk about how they go about using a whiteboard when they go by and they see the artifacts. They don't bring everything up. So you'll see that on Nightline. And you can find out more about Tara in, and the Into the Depths podcast and at natgeo.com slash Into the Depths. It's a, I cannot thank them enough. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.